welcome dear friends again to my channel geotechnical engineering consultancy tips i just had an idea of to make this series of mine a little bit more fascinating interactive and lively i just decided to discuss with you all a case study in reference to in order to prove that high geotechnical investigation is a very important aspect for any proposed new structure rather to say its significance and relevance which i am discussing in this lecture number 20 and 23rd of the series actually as a case study of a 1 into 25 meter span bridge site we did this site in western uttar pradesh in india what actually need to be seen very seriously in this site is if we went there and explored a single bore hole of around 25 meter depth what was being met with at the site is being written in the table and after that how did we finalize the report what difficulties we had to face while finalizing the report will be discussed after that now the water table the first ground water table was found at 0.80 meter below the ground level and we observed a lot of variation in the stratigraphy of the site right from ground level to the 25.00 meter depth explored below ground level what actually was the case the top 1 meter of the site comprised of silty clay low medium plasticity and compressibility ci group soil with n value a standard condition test value as 2 as the this was the top most here we didn't test cohesion and angle of internal friction but after that from 1 meter to 3.50 meter silty sand poorly graded sand sand mixture belonging to sm and sn sm dash sp group of indian standard classification was found with found with n values of 3 and 9 with angle of internal friction as 30 degree cohesion mean zero for the non cohesive soil now from 3.50 meter to 7.00 meter depth a very loose clay silt mi group of is classification soil was met with at the site with n value 3 that is the standard pressure test value again decreased and we found that its c cohesion was 0.25 kg per cm square and angle was 60 now again the strata change into poorly graded sand sand mixture from 7 meter to 14.50 meter depth explored below ground level having smsp group of is classification with n values steadily increasing from 16 to 28 cohesion being zero and angle being 31 to 32 degree there again a very loose pocket of clay silt low plasticity clay silt from 14 to 16 meter was met with n value again drastically reducing to a value of 7 with its c as 0.20 and angle 12 degree this is the advantage of having a sufficient foundation depth if when the strata zigzags see saws like this we have to have a bare minimum investigation depth to be able to finalize its soil test report that is why we decided initially to go in for 25 meter depth although it was not anticipated but we found it to be surprisingly a lot Uh, great variation being met with at the site that is from 16 to 22 meter again we found poorly graded sand sand mixture smsp group of is classification with n values n in from 23 to 33 and 32 and cohesion being zero angle as 32 to 33 degree then again silty clay medium plasticity and compressibility ci group of soil was met with from 22 meter to 25 meter with n values ranging from 24 to 28 and we did not go its for cohesion and angle of internal friction of testing just if we thought if we would be able to 
put in the kind of foundation required with its entrance zone finishing before these levels. So, after these results were being prepared, I had a discussion with a structural engineer concerned for that very bridge. And we decided to go in for, because of this water table condition, as we had to give the foundation at the two abutment, signs, uh, abutment locations, because it being a single span bridge, it was decided to go in for 18 meter by 16 meter foundation size at 1 meter depth. When we worked out the bearing capacity, it came out to be around 19 ton per meter square with settlement of the order of 238 mm. But as per relevant engineering standard mode IS 1904 or other to say IIC 78 etc. latest yearly entry upon. In order to bring the permissible settlement, in order to achieve at the desired permissible settlement value of 20, 75 mm, this value came down to 4.75 ton per meter square, which was quite found to be quite insufficient for the design of that bridge. Then we again had discussions with the structure engineer concerned. What I want to emphasize, focus on this case study is that we have to be very cautious while doing a field investigation at the site, doing their laboratory test at the lab and then further finalizing the report. Ultimately the bridge is to be built up there. Then we again decided to do some further calculations at 2, 2.5 and 3.5 meter depth for length into width of 12 meter by 8 meter. We observed, rather to say we got bearing capacity of the range of 15 to 21 ton per meter square. But for all these three cases, the settlement, the settlement was found to be well above the safe permissible limit of 75 mm. As we all know, any bearing capacity is to be decided by settlement criteria necessarily. Then we found that the final safe allowable pressure was coming out for these three different depths of foundation cell for this size of footing to be ranging from 7.3 ton to 10.4 ton per meter square. 7.2 ton per meter square to 10.4 ton per meter square in which very case the settlement was found to be within permissive, assigned permissible settlement limit value of 75 mm. But then again it was thought of and discussed with the structure in your concern that because of the water table being present at a slightly more than the anticipated depth from the below ground level, in order to construct these foundations we need to do a massive dewatering at the site and that may be difficult for these foundations to be executed and to be actually executable at the site. This is why geotechnical investigation is very important. Then it was finally decided to go in for board cast in situ straight pipe of 1000 mm diameter with 2 meter cutoff and its expected length as 9.5 meter, 15 meter and 18 meter. Now you, will, you all will be surprised ki why I took the decision of 15 meter pipe straight after 9.50 meter pipe. Why? Because 9.5 plus 2 meter cutoff is 11.50 meter. That is my pile is resting in this sandy soil. After that, if I would have rested my pile in this clay silt soil, because of low end bearing component, its bearing capacity, its load carrying capacity of the pile must have gone down immediately. That is why we decided 
to either rest the file in this zone or in this zone. That is why this 15 and 18 means rather to say the termination level of the pile was suggested to be at 17 meter and 20 meter below the ground level. Below the ground level. Below the ground. Which is it has been found and observed, which I may be covering in some of my future lectures, that whenever you rest your pile in a sandy soil, you are able to extract a much more greater end bearing component in comparison to the pile being rested in the clay soil. That is why we decided to rest all these piles in sandy soil, so that the structure in your concern can have a range of values, different depths for this 1000 mm diameter pile with 2 meter cut off in order to be able to decide on the number of piles to be provided at the abutment location as a group. What we found that this compression capacity of the pile was found to be of the order of 1 and 6 ton, 2 and 15 ton and 275 ton for these respective three depths. I suggest. Correspondingly, the uplift capacity of the pile was found of the order of 35 tons, 74 tons, and 102 tons. Now, we had to have calculate. We had to calculate the lateral capacity of the pile as well as the depth of XT. And all these calculations were done presuming the grade of the concrete to be used in the pile foundation as M35 grade of concrete. The lateral capacity was found out. as 29 ton and the depth of 60 is 8.50 meters. So friends, what I need to explain you all is the necessity of geotechnical investigation, the sufficient depth of exploration to be covered at the site for any proposed civil engineering structure, whether it is a bridge or a building or over a tank or anything. Maybe I will be discussing with you my many more case studies in future. In order to make this lecture series a little bit more interesting, lively and practical, I decided to cover this case study. So what I wish to focus is that it is really a very important job to do a good geotechnical investigation and then decide on the most appropriate foundation in consideration with the economy and as well as the safety and the longevity of the structure. That is why in the end it was decided to provide the structural engineer and the client concern with the file foundations and I think the, at last they went in for file foundation proposal exactly to be executed at the site. I think friends you must have liked this lecture of mine, we will again meet you all soon. Please keep on subscribing to my channel, thank you.